again, Cyclones fans. Everett Fitzhugh here for another edition of 20 Questions. I'm joined today by account executive Isaiah Vodnik. Isaiah, how's it going? It's going well, buddy. How are you? Fantastic. Very good. We're going to be playing this game. You know how it works. We'll ask you your 20 questions. We'll get to know you a little bit better on a completely random level. You ready? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Some fun. You're a big music guy, so yes. what is the best concert you've ever been to? Uh, best concert, definitely 30 Seconds to Mars, Lincoln Park, out in Chicago a couple years ago. Made a big weekend of it. It was, uh, it was a good time. Me and all the guys went out. So who's your favorite artist? Musical artist. M musical artist. If it's not one of those bands, it's definitely Kanye West. Okay. I'm, I'm a Kanye guy. <laughs> you guys don't like him, but I don't care. I love I him. Lo I love him. You're a hometown boy here from Cincinnati. Yes. We're very social as well. What is your favorite Cincinnati festival? Um, I went to Bunbury this year. Okay. That was awesome. That was a really good time. Um, but I like eating food. So any place where I can go and just get some really good food. So either the Taste or Oktoberfest? Taste or Oktoberfest. Um, little church festivals around here, too. Okay. There's always good stuff. So you were in marching band in, uh, in high school. Yes. What instrument did you play, and could you still play that instrument? I was on the drum line. Okay. I played bass drum. It's not hard, so I could probably still do it. But then again, I haven't drummed in like six years, so... Maybe. Okay. Big fights coming up. Conor McGregor versus Floyd Mayweather Jr. Who you got? Conor McGregor is the most electrifying man in sports. And I he's cannot no Dwayne, wait. He's no Dwayne Johnson. I in sports, not ballers, the okay. TV show, which is a good show. Okay. Um, no. Conor McGregor, when he defeats Floyd Mayweather via knockout on August 26th, mm. I will be cheering. Okay. And I'm going to get an Irish flag tattooed on me for no reason. Okay. Don't write that down. <laughs> Don't call me on that. What uh, what is your fa what is your favorite movie? Uh, definitely Toy Story. Okay. It's, I'm 25. I own 13 Woody dolls. Need to grow up a little bit, but whatever. It's okay. a good it's a good movie. Who would you pick to play you in a movie? Shia LaBeouf. Mm -hmm. Why Isaiah? Why? Isaiah? Let me tell you, Everett. Let me tell you exactly why. Because there's something wrong with him. He's really weird. And I'm really weird, and there's a lot wrong with me, so it's just like a match made in heaven. Hopefully he doesn't watch this one. Can't be called weird. <laughs> Do it! <laughs> uh, you are in the military, yes. the, uh, the Army. Um, Army National Guard. National yes. Guard. What made you want to uh, join the Army in the military? I kind of always knew I was going to. Okay. My brother was in the Army. Uh, my grandpa was in the Navy. Um, just the way I was brought up, kind of knew I was going to do it. Not really answering the question right now, but... You know, something I knew I wanted to do for the longest time after freshman year of college, enlisted. Yeah. Cool. We yeah. talked about this last year. You always mm -hmm. wanted to grow a mullet, but the military has always stood in your way. Is that something you still want? I could. I feel like I have a, the perfect body type to have a slick, sick, awesome mullet. Mullet season's coming up. Hockey season. Yeah. Everyone grow your mullets out. Okay. For me. For him. Do it for him. What? Uh, what's your favorite food? Uh, pizza. Okay. Question mark. Yeah, because I was trying to think if I want something, you know, crazy. Like, oh, I like having lobster or something. No. Nope. Just give me a slice of pepperoni pizza. I'll be happy. Well, that brings us to our next question. You are inviting that special lady mm -hmm. over to your place for a nice evening dinner. What are you making? I'm not making anything. <laughs> I'm calling someone <laughs> to bring food to me and maybe a couple adult beverages as well. Okay. Because, yeah. Okay. They're delicious. What would you consider your most prized possession? <laughs> well, excuse me. One of my Woody dolls that I have, um, I take taking them everywhere with me. I, out of my 13, there's one that travels with me everywhere I go. Yeah, that. Okay. For sure. When you were little, when you were younger, what did you want to be when you grew up? I thought I was smart enough to be an astronaut. Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Um, but yeah, that's what I wanted to do. That's not what I'm ever going to do. <laughs> If you could have one talent, what would it be? One talent? I wish I could speak another language. It's not really a talent. I, 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 can, speak, so. I can speak a little Spanish because mm -hmm. my upbringing, but I want to be able to speak another language just so I, so I can go somewhere and still communicate with people. Okay. You have to give up one of these for the rest of your life. All right. Okay. Social media, pizza, or music. Which one are you giving up? You can't give up music. That doesn't make any sense. Mm -hmm. I would actually probably give up pizza. Okay. Even, okay. even though it's your favorite food. Even though it's my favorite food, I like so I can't give up social media because I like to make fun of people on there. 
called him Humpty Dumpty this weekend. He was not <laughs> happy about that. I wasn't happy, but it was pretty hilarious. <laughs> it was good. All right. It was a good time. Two more here for you. You're Let's a big go. Cubs fan. Yeah. Fill in the blank. When the Cubs won the World Series, I celebrated accordingly like a, a like an adult would. Like a Cubs fan whose team hadn't won in 108 years would. I cried and I got a nosebleed at Holy Grail. Yep. That's what he wanted me to say. I was there. That's He made fun of me so much. Mm -hmm. I was... That was, that was, it was a good time. It was fun. All right. Last one here for you. We always okay. end on this. You are trapped. You are stranded mm -hmm. on a deserted island. What is the one thing or who is the one person you're going to bring with you? Everyone else answered this saying that they would bring a person. I'm not doing that because I'm going to put that person in a terrible situation that I'm in. Trapped with you. That's just rude. Yeah, they're stuck with me on an island. Nobody wants that. I would probably bring a knife for hunting, whatever I want to do, start fires. Boredom, throwing it at things. I mean, I can do a lot with a knife. Give me a knife and I'm good. 